Hello everyone, and as always, welcome back to Strategy Gaming Dojo, where we find, learn, and play one more turn of the great strategy games, and it's back into the granddaddy of them all, Gary Grigsby's War in the Pacific Admirals Edition. It is still December 26th. It's, this has been the longest December 26th of all time. Uh, because of that, I am just going to very quickly this time, we're going to go through Christmas Island, Palmyra, uh, out to Canton, and probably up to Johnston Island. Then I'm going to resolve the turn. All right. Um, I'm planning on live streaming this game tomorrow. Tomorrow would be May 16th, Sunday, May 16th, 516 on your calendar. Uh, we are going to live stream this directly after War in the East 2. So that will be at 1130 Pacific Coast time. I will live stream this and we're going to resolve another turn tomorrow. And, you know, I, I had generally felt that people like to watch everything I do in the game. Uh, and so I record it. I mean, we always get pretty good viewership of these, but uh, to the extent that this is, you know, not moving fast enough, that's fine. I'll do more of it offline, and I just, you know, I, I tr generally try to record everything I do in all the games I play. Uh, but, you know, this is a long game. I get that. And so let's get moving. So what I'm going to start doing from now on is every Monday we'll pick a spot on the map. Uh, this time, this Monday, it'll probably be the U.S. West Coast, since we haven't looked at that in our playthrough here, or I say our playthrough, our, our run through the map on December 26th. We'll probably look at the U.S. West Coast, and then on Tuesday, we'll maybe do a little more of that. We'll resolve the turn. On Wednesday, we'll pick another spot on the map. Thursday, resolve the turn. We'll just start resolving turns every other day, and I'll just start playing the game more offline. Again, I just thought that people, you know, especially new people to the channel, like to see how things operate or how you put, you know, different things, different places. Uh, but, you know, let's move this one along. That's fine by me. I'm playing the game either way. Sometimes I talk, sometimes I don't. <laughs> so it's just a matter of what people want to see. Um, one of the things, so I started doing a lot of stuff offline this time. I went through all of these task forces, decided what I wanted to do with those. Uh, this down here at Christmas Island. So the first place I want to look at is Christmas Island. We are building the forts. We're building the airfield here at Christmas. Eventually, we want to get uh, a lot of air into Christmas Island. Uh, do a big air net out here. So to the extent the Japanese want to try to mess with our shipping lane that we have right behind Christmas Island, we've got a lot of, uh, I'd like air superiority uh, units out here, fighters, things like that. Uh, we do have two groups of engineers here that have 25 aviation support and 10. So we could get, you know, 30 or 35 fighters out here comfortably. Uh, we just got to build up that airfield a little bit. Uh, we've got some naval support here in case something needs to come into Christmas Island. Uh, there is an oiler that's sitting here that I've got remaining on station that's got about 10,000 fuel just sitting on it. Uh, and so we're showing no fuel, but that's not necessarily the truth. I mean, we've got, it's right here. Uh, maybe we'll have that, you know what? Let's have that move in and unload the first time go back to Pearl Harbor and then come back. Then we have some on the island uh, for ships that need to, you know, get an emergency refuel or something. Then we'll, we'll go back, fill it back up and then bring it down here on station. So the Ramapo, let's remember that one. Uh, okay, so other than that, we have this two group of groups of engineers. We have these two mine layers and one of them has mines on it. One of them doesn't. This one does not, and I was bringing it down here for ASW, but instead I'm going to send it up to Palmyra. We need to give that a patrol zone when it gets up there uh, because we don't have as much ASW up here at Palmyra. I'm going to just keep this very close. Do, 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 up and around and here and there. So one, two, three. Yeah, so I'll be live streaming this tomorrow. Hey, look, when a new game comes out, Honestly, I'm just not, you know, I'm going to live stream the new game. We don't get enough viewers for this game to make it, you know, worthwhile to, to bump other games that are a lot more popular at this point. I mean, this is a 
17-year-old game, ultimately, if you go back to War in the Pacific, uh, that I love. It's my favorite game, but I'm not going to bump War in the East 2, which came out a month ago, to live stream this one. I will try to work in more live streams, so I'll do one tomorrow, um, and I'll probably do one on, like, Tuesday or Thursday. So I'll try to do one on Sunday and one on Tuesday and Thursday. And again, we'll resolve every other day kind of regardless. I'll just play it offline uh, so that we're moving along. Um, this other mine layer, mine layer Christmas, he's here to lay mines. Well, I actually changed my mind. I'm going to send him on to Canton. Canton far more likely to be attacked first if we laid them here at Christmas, they're just going to degrade because the Japanese are not going to get here before they degrade. We don't have enough uh, mine tenders to, you know, be sending them out to places like Christmas Island. Uh, we just don't. And so we, we got to keep those at the big ports. Uh, so let's, you know, if we're going to lay mines out here, let's do it at a more forward base. And so both of these are moving on from Christmas Island. We have no ships in port. We have no planes here yet. We are about to unload a ton of fuel. Well, I say ton, 10,000 tons of fuel here. Uh, and then we're going to go back and get some more out of Pearl Harbor. And we'll just sit here. We'll sit here with that oiler. And uh, if something needs an emergency refill, so be it. Uh, Canton. All right. What's going on at Canton? Well, we're dropping off the 3rd Marines. And you can go and look at them here. 3rd Marine Defense Battalion. It's an artillery unit with a lot of strength. It's got a lot of good stuff in here. Um, but uh, that is a pretty strong unit to have out on Canton. Uh, we've also got the 148th Field Artillery out here. Okay, excellent. And we have some engineers that give us both aviation support, general support. They've got nine engineers. At Canton, we're building forts. Excellent. Um, <clears throat> Christmas, we are, I think I just looked at this right. Yeah, we're expanding the airfield and we're expanding the port or the uh, forts. I'm sorry. We're not expanding the port because we're already over the recommended anyway. Uh, what are we doing at Palmyra? Uh, I seem to remember we're doing the same thing. It's fortifications and airfields. So we're doing those two, uh, the port. I'm wrong. Gosh, darn it. Come on, man. We're building the fort and the port. <laughs> it's always such a tongue twister. We're building the forts and the port. Uh, we are not expanding the airfield at Palmyra. Okay, let's go back then to Christmas Island, see what that's about. Um, yeah, so that one we're doing the airfield and the fortifications. That makes sense. I want that airfield to get as big as we can get it. Uh, okay, uh, fanning. There's just a Kiwi unit out here. The Kiwis have invaded Fanning Island. Well, not today, but they did uh, some hundreds of years back, probably. Uh, Palmyra. Right. We've got a, a, a patrol craft out here. We have this AM local mine sweeper. Okay. And we've got the Crown City in here dumping off uh, some supply. 2960. They need the supply out here. Canton also needs the supply. Uh, depending on how fast I can get around to things, I really would like to have this do half here and half at Canton. But we just need to remember, when we do Pearl Harbor tomorrow during the live stream, we need more uh, stuff coming out to Palmyra, Canton. When I say stuff, supply, supply, okay? Uh, fuel, not as important because if we need any ship to dock out here, it's going to be at Christmas Island. So we do need some fuel at Christmas, but uh, we're going to have a lot momentarily, right? So also uh, units, we need uh, an infantry unit at Christmas, just something we need to remember. Let's go up to Johnston Island. Johnston, very low on supply, but I do know that we're sending something out. Uh, I remember doing that. Is this one on a CS? It's not. I'll want it to be. We've got it as Cargo Johnson, Johnston, uh, so we should be able to remember that. While we're here and while I'm thinking about it, let's go see if we have any other cargo. Yeah, wow, we really don't. We really don't. Now, we probably do it up in these you know, units here. 
Uh, but I don't want these better AKs to be going out to Johnston Island. So we're just going to have to wait until we get a couple of smaller ones. I know I'm sending smaller ones, you know, out here, there, and everywhere. And so, um, yeah, they're going to Christmas. Here's some AKs. They're 100% loaded. They're going to Suva. All right. Well, we'll look at all this tomorrow during live stream. I'll look at all of these ships. Uh, well, what I, whatever I can do in 30 minutes, we'll look at all these and we'll look at Pearl Harbor as well. What else do we have in Johnston? We've got uh, patrol aircraft. We've got an engineer. We've got Marines. Okay. Looks good. No ships in port, of course. Uh, this patrol craft, I like this uh, little arc. It's only two ships, or uh, pl ships, planes, only two planes. So morning and afternoon for these guys. Um, it all looks good. I say we resolve the turn. Let's do it. Let's get on to December 27th. Uh, I, I say that the only thing I want to do is look at the Panama Canal before we do that. Uh, because anything down here, I always want to get moving um, we got a base force. We do have one ship in port. It is the Manakai. Okay. It could take fuel or supply, really. Let's form a new task force. Let's make this cargo Tahiti. Done. I'm just going to call this Tahiti because I may ship different stuff there at different times. Let's try that again. Tahiti. There we go. Okay. So now we know that. Let's go look at Tahiti and see what it needs most of. And it needs most of fuel. All right. Well, we'll take fuel the first time. If I can find it again, there we go. All right. Let's take fuel. So we'll dock that. We'll load some fuel. Excellent. And we'll get that going to Tahiti. Okay, and we'll try to build Tahiti up as kind of a, a respite base where uh, things can go. Um, yeah, I looked at all of these, you know, uh, offline. Uh, everything's fine. We'll look at them more, you know, during our, our 30 minute sessions or however long they are uh, before we resolve turns. But, uh, you know, these are all fine. They're all good. I gave some other some of them dif different orders to go different places. A lot of them are headed back to the U.S. West Coast. Uh, they're actually empty. They started off empty in Australia. We're sending them to the U.S. West Coast to pick up things. Um, but you know, we'll deal with that when they get there, uh, whether on uh, the recording or not. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and resolve the turn and see what happens. So I'm expecting, you know, the continued push here in the Philippines, the continued push in Malaya. At some point, they're going to jump the Strait of Malacca over here to Sumatra. It's just a matter of when. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, China should also heat up a little bit. I was noticing that uh, they have moved a unit up into Hankow now where we were trying to be offensive. That may, <laughs> that may get knocked back a little bit. We'll see. There is the aforementioned Hankow. We're moving in here. They have air assets, but that's a bright red counter. I don't like the look of that. Uh, it seems like they... they you know, got some recon on us and said, hey, wait a minute, uh, they're coming towards Hang Kao and have responded.
There it is. Chiang Mai is ours. Our first offensive taking of a base as that unit marched and marched from day one and finally got there over uh, by Burma. I guess that's technically probably in Thailand, um, but it finally got over there and it has taken the base. How exciting. Whoa, what the heck happened here? Um, night surface combat, Japanese ships, the PB uh, Fumi Maru, shell hits four and is sunk. The AK Cinco Maru, shell hits two, heavy fires. Look at the DD Stewart doing business out here. Uh, wow, okay. That's awesome. Um, Wow, I was not expecting that because now they've moved strongly into Jalo. I thought, well, okay, but <laughs> we were all over them. Uh, excellent. Can't beat that. Two ships down early. All right, night air attack on Batangis. Uh, Batangis, we have, I don't, you know, we've got some things on the ground there they can destroy. 17 lilies in on Singapore. We damaged two of them. Oh, wow, not good result for us, though. Five damaged buffaloes and one destroyed on the ground. That's just, I mean, we don't fly night missions, really, so, you know, that hurts. All right, so the perch there uh, attempted uh, to do something, you know, offensive, but nothing really happened. The SS perch, the submarine out there. Task force fuel returning to port. It's almost daytime. Yay, it's daytime over Japan. Land of the rising sun, truly. Third Marine is merging out there on Canton. They have more stuff at Babeldwab, I swear. They've got half the Japanese army out here, uh, from what we can tell from our recon. Okay. Uh, we've got PT boats out here uh, trying to do something. I'm not really sure what. Uh, they ran into two APs, though. Wow, that would have been something if we would have hit one of those. That would have been awesome. We've got PT boats going mad. Ooh, get all over that sub. We got that sub that's right off. I think that was Seattle, Vancouver, right? Um, sub attack near Bernie. Wow, they're all the way down here in the Bass Strait. Uh, the AM Lithgow says, no, no, sir, you shall not come into the Bass Strait. Uh, but nothing, well, they attacked us, but, you know, nothing really happened there. Um... Oh, sub attack. So the perch did get off on this. Uh, launched two torpedoes uh, to no avail, though. We've got so many subs in that area. Here's the swordfish. We're sub attacking again. Wow, this is right off the coast of Japan, really. Uh, we looked at a PB and an AP. Didn't get anything. We, uh, we launched two torpedoes. Mark 14 is probably going sideways. Um, ah, ASW, nice. Okay, so we're in on that Japanese sub, the I-26. We know where it is now. Uh, we tried to attack it, but got no no dice there. Uh, we're getting spotted by a lot of bombers. <laughs> Never fun. Japanese aircraft near Rangoon. Yes, they always are. Under attack. Oh, why didn't it show us that then? A uh, Japanese torpedo boat near Nomaya. All right, four ship, ships coming near Devo. Hmm. I must have turned up the uh, message level a little bit. I feel like we're getting a lot better uh, information this time. Morning air attack on Batangis. Okay, 44 zeros and 38 Bettys. Whew. Uh, Betty, two damaged. 
Uh, port hits 10, port fuel hits 6. So, you know, Batangis, not that we need it or have, you know, any reason for it at this point, uh, is getting just absolutely battered. Morning air attack on Ku Kong. Uh, five Tojos, 21 Lilies in. Allies had six casualties. Uh, they hit the airbase in the runway. That's fine. We don't have any planes there whatsoever. Oh, they're up over I Chang. Torpedo bombers. Okay. Uh, bombers over some of the Chinese cores there. Wow, a lot of sightings this time, but not uh, as many bombings. Not during that first phase, anyway. The Bittern sinks. Okay, that was hit last time, I believe. Um, you know, the, the, anything that's left in the Philippines, we're in trouble with that you know it's just probably you know not not long for this world one japanese ship near christmas island io uh there's no way there's a float fighter out by san francisco god let's hope uh, <laughs> if he brought his main japanese task force back to san francisco that'd really be something uh they're hitting batangis again no losses uh we had catalina's damaged and destroyed but they were on the ground i mean they uh, we can't even launch them anymore they were already all damaged um okay nothing happened there really uh but they're just you know banging the crap they're making sure we can't get these repaired uh hitting it again my god insult to injury port hits one Okay, uh, now they're attacking the 100th Chinese Corps in Wenchow, which we've left that behind. I'm still not sure if that's a great idea. Uh, we're kind of going cold spreadsheet on that. They're now bombing over into Madan with Anns and Oscars. Okay, no losses on either side. 19 Sonia's in on the 2nd Provincial Chinese Corps. They created a few damages there more than anything. It's the disruption. Uh, here comes bombers into Rangoon. Uh, okay, what happened here? 17 Oscars, 14 Lilies. We got the Flying Tigers up. Uh, 17 of them, four Buffaloes. We destroyed one Oscar. The Lily, seven destroyed, two damage. But damn it, we lost three more. Of the Flying Tigers, uh, they're getting whittled down here, more so than usual, I feel like. Going to hit Batangis again? Ah, those people have shell shock that are still left in Batangis. They hit Win Chow again. We damaged a Lily. Okay. Ah, they're out over Great Nicobar, huh? And Sabang. And Bengalis. Uh, second Chinese base force. Okay, here they're going to try to hit Rangoon again. We get seven flying tigers and two buffaloes up. Uh, we destroyed a lily. We lost a flying tiger. Wow, wow. They are really just time after time getting whittled down. Uh, which is good job by the Japanese player. I think it's because I'm on very difficult uh, that maybe those guys are getting taken out faster than they usually do. Uh, Lark Battalion, they're hitting Rabal. Do, do, do. Oh, he's probably going to set up an invasion of Rabal. Okay, here they came in with Zeros and Kates on the Stuart, who was the destroyer that just hit those two Japanese ships. Uh, nope, they got a naval attack. They got a torpedo in the water, but those destroyers are going to be hard to hit uh, with a torpedo. Uh, 8 and 13 uh, aircraft here. Uh, this is on Tan Tanisarum, uh, Base Force. We're trying to get them out, but, you know, it takes a while. <laughs> That's a long march up Burma. Lots of aircraft sightings. Going to hit that uh, Base Force again. Okay. And back go the Japanese aircraft. Now we're doing our air transport. All right. 
And we're pulling some of those units out. We're going across to Kunming with supplies. We're taking supplies to Buna. I think we also took some troops there after there, there was a mutiny uh, on this by my subs uh, that we weren't flying things over to Buna. So uh, we are now flying them over. I think that's about it. Um, we did get a hit in on a couple of Japanese ships. One we confirmed sunk. Uh, now this is very interesting to me up here in Hankow. Uh, we are going to get some land combat eventually here. Um, we're merging some of these forces. We're marching here to and fro. Got a hold here. Now we did knock them back across the river right there, uh, which at Luoyang and Chen Chao, so that's good. Okay. I'll just watch these guys march about. Got these units coming back to Cyan. Uh, they, okay, we're not going to watch the U.S. West Coast uh, or Australia. We get it. They're, they're going where they're supposed to be. Uh, we are now retreating. Wow, we retreated out of... Uh, Heng Kao. So the commander saw <laughs> what was going on here and said, nope, we're good. Let's go back to Ai Cheng. Uh, okay. So the Japanese made their presence felt there. Uh, all of these aren't, that was a lot of troops. Uh, we are now, okay. Um, what did we have? Okay. So we had 57,000 troops. They had 60,000 troops, 608 guns. Uh, Japanese assault odds three to one. They lost 7,200. We lost 16,000 troops. Wow. Holy smokes. Uh, okay. And we're, yeah, for good reason. Let's retreat out of there. Holy mackerel. Okay. They're trying to attack us here at Xinyang. Not a good idea, really. I don't. Japanese bombardment attack. They've got 8,000 troops there, okay? We have marched over into here. We've got 41,000 troops. Uh, so, I mean, we've got them outnumbered, but sometimes 5 to one's not enough. Uh, but here it was. Uh, this was just a bombardment attack by the Japanese. Um, next time, we are going to attack there. What? Oh, this was 13th Army Group. They were out here it was only 465 troops. Uh, I would rather that not have happened, but that's okay. They had they have 15,000 troops uh, right there in that hex. Uh, Japanese bombardment attack near Kwasai. Um, okay, I mean, we've got them severely outnumbered out here, but sometimes that, again, doesn't matter uh, when you don't have good quality Chinese troops. They can be four or five to one. Now we're expanding our forts. Okay. get through all that oh we get some new stuff the ap maui the ak al mac the mornacre the san anselmo uh we get some more stuff at abaddon and aden british energy wow we got a lot of stuff this time raf lands in uh Oosthaven, so that's nice reassigning transport group saving game all right so that is uh, the longest December 26th in history in the books. Uh, it is now December 27th, as you see it. Click on there. We'll go look at the info very quickly. Uh, we'll see what happened here. Sorties. Uh, we still ran more sorties uh, for the campaign. We ran a lot more, actually. Air-to-air -air losses. We took six. They took 14. Okay. Destroyed on the field. I hate those, but we only took two. They took uh, zero. Destroyed by flak. They're up to 23 for the campaign. None this time, though. Operational losses, still looking good. Very uh, containable losses there. Uh, two today. Uh, we've got a lot of political points. Uh, Japanese, we're back over 11,000 in score. Uh, we did take a base this time. We're up to 566. Uh, we can go look at all of this stuff tomorrow. Um, ship sunk, though. Let's do that. Uh, how about last turn? So they lost the Fumi Maru. 
worth one point. Now, I think we probably sunk the other one, but we don't have any logistics on that. Or uh, logistics. Recon, detection level. A uh, bit turn sunk for us. That was a three point ship. That's fine. Um, okay. I think that will do it for this time. Tomorrow, again, 11.30 Pacific Coast time, May 16th, of uh, the year of our Lord, 2021. I will be live streaming this one. Uh, we will just go through the Pearl Harbor as fast as we can. I'll probably go and like do the West Coast and do all the new stuff that we got. I'll give that its orders and the whatnot. And then tomorrow, we'll just look at Pearl Harbor together, and then we'll resolve that turn in a day we're steaming towards 1942 so thank you very much for joining me uh hopefully you enjoyed this a little bit of action we got the turn resolved and uh, we'll do so again on a more regular basis anyway this has been strategy gaming dojo have a good one i'll talk to you later